Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Cypress tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the select file option. Okay, so we previously we have seen about scroll into view and scroll to select we have already seen which is used to select an option within a select tag, right? Now this is more of a static select drop down selection, which we have already understood in the drop down section of the previous videos. Okay. So this was about the select, which we have already covered. Now select file, what exactly it is. So select file is in many websites wherein you have to say, for example, you are updating your profile, you have to upload the photo, you have to upload the document, right? Or from your desktop by browsing through the location of the particular file. Okay. So select file within Cypress will help you to select the files locally present on your desktop and attach it, right? So your script will do it automatically for you. If you just go ahead and use select file with the right sort of location and arguments that are required within select file method. Okay. So syntax pretty simple select file. You just specify the file location. All right. Now select file with the options. If you want to select multiple files, comma separated, provide multiple files. Okay. Or multiple file in the, uh, in a array. Okay. And the options. All right. So we'll understand all of this in detail. All right. Let's quickly go ahead and see the usage. So basically the usage is pretty simple. So we first need to go to a particular web element where it asks you to attach a file right now usually when you go and analyze the web page you will see that all the select file or wherever you can attach the file is of type file will be of uh, that web element will be of type file and will be having an input okay so it will be having an input and then we'll have a type of file for example if we go to this particular sales order page okay in the zoho crm if i simply go ahead and refresh it there is a location wherein we can go ahead and attach the file. So here, if I scroll down here, you will see that we have attached files to sales order, right? Now I can simply go ahead and click on this icon. Okay. Which will open the page or basically the window on my machine, wherein I can choose any particular file and attach it right now. This is manual process. How will my script be able to do it? So my script needs to be needs to understand that it has to go to this particular location and somehow select the file and attach to it. Okay. Second here, you will see that if I click on this drop down, I can see multiple options, right? So at the moment we are just interested in, at, interested in attaching the file from the desktop. All right. So either of these two options can be selected. So how will I proceed with it? First, I have to identify the web element, the locator, so that the script knows that it has to basically go to this particular locator and attach the file, right? So simply click and then forcefully there is an argument that I'll explain uh, or go to this upload file locator and then attach. So I'll go ahead and simply analyze and show you how basically things will look like. So if you simply right click and inspect on that particular web element wherein we attach the file, okay, you will see that the type is file right so the type is if you see that this got highlighted as soon as i move to this particular input and this is of input type okay the tag is input and the type is file that means this will accept these type of files you see that multiple accept these are the type of files that it should actually accept right then where is exactly this one this second icon so if you see below here this is of a button okay and then below button if i open a bit more right so below here you will see that there is a button and below button again there is an input tag which again is of type file so which is this one all right which has different options so attached from cloud desktop right so these are different you know options that are available right different button tags that are available so i can use either of these now first thing is i have to make sure that i get the locator right so how will i get the locator so you'll see that we'll go from the button okay to write a css selector and then maybe just simply say, okay, here it is span and here it is button. So the parent is span here and then next input. So if I say con control F and if I say span and simply the child of it, okay. So I'll say input. All right. You'll see that it got highlighted. I can also specify the type as file. Okay. So I can say, okay, in the square bracket, I'll say type is file. All right. And if I'll hit enter, you'll see that that particular input tag is highlighted. Now this is the CSS selector that I can safely go ahead and copy and use in my script. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll 
go back to VS Code. All right, and let me copy one of the sample test here and I will say upload file. Okay, I will just say upload file dot cy dot js. So now here, the first thing is let me remove all of this and I'll say select file demo or upload. So the first thing is basically we open this sales order new page. All right. So I'll simply straight away copy this particular link. So it opens this particular page. All right. And I will go ahead and paste that here. Okay. So this will make sure that yes, that particular page will get open. Okay. So I'll go back here and I should be able to see the upload file here. Okay. So upload file and this should open the sales order page. Okay. So now you will see that sales order page is open, but it hasn't scrolled to the bottom. All right. So I'll make sure that we also scroll to the bottom. All right. So we'll use the scroll to. Okay. And then we'll just provide this locator that we have copied. Okay. So we scroll to this particular location and then upload a file. So you can see things clearly. So what I'll do is I'll, I have already created a locator. So I'll say here, I'll say scroll into view. Okay. So I'll say that particular locator or let me paste the locator here. You'll see that as soon as I pasted that locator here, you will see that it got highlighted. So it is giving me one match here. And this is the Cypress feature in the app itself that I can use to make sure that the locator is working fine. Okay. So I'll copy this. Okay. And then I'll simply paste it here. So I'll say cy.get and because there is single quote here against the file. So outside we'll use the double. Okay. And then we'll say dot scroll into view. Okay. So now if I say you will see that now the script runs, it opens the page and then it will scroll that particular file upload icon into the view as well. Okay. You will see now it has scrolled into the view. Okay. This is open. Now I can go ahead and use select file to go ahead and select the file and upload it. Okay. So how we can do it simply we will use the same locator, right? We know that this is of in type input and this is where we have to go ahead and upload the file. So we'll say select file, right? And now if I simply hover over the cell, let's see what all options are there. Okay. So select file, we just have to provide the files. Okay. And then there are certain options there. Okay. So if I simply go ahead, let's go to the documentation here. Same one. So you'll see I can provide the location of the file wherever the file is or location of the multiple files. Okay. In the square bracket, I can choose multiple files. Okay. So you'll see file.json, file2.json. I can provide all of that. The next thing is let's let's try with this. Okay, so we know that we are providing file.json and then we can provide multiple files. Let's see that if, if if it works by default, just providing the file location. So my files are in this particular location. So say for example, I want to attach 4.png. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll say 4.png. Okay, I got the full location of this particular file from my computer and I'll say I'll simply go ahead and provide the file location. All right. Now because I'm on Windows, so you'll see to escape backslash, we have to just provide double backslash. Okay. So we'll just say double black backslash. So now this is resolved and this is only thing that you have to provide here. Okay. Let's see if it works. So usually it won't work and I'll explain you why. So I've saved it and let's try to see the execution. So automatically it will rerun because I have added new line there. Okay. So this time it worked and why it worked because I have chosen this particular option here, right? The icon and this icon straight away only X has one option. But if I go to this particular locator, right? So you'll see this file got it as straight away. But if I simply go ahead and say this upload file, this is a button and then it is also there to upload the file. But then there are multiple options and it, it is not straightforward click and upload like this option. Okay. So in this case, I'll show you how you can go ahead and say, for example, you have identified this particular locator, which will do and show you the error. So you, you can basically go ahead and understand why if something is not working, then what you have to do in file upload option. So this input comes below the button. All right. So I'll say button. All right. And then below that, there was an input and which is of a type file. So if say, for example, I use this one and I say cy.get and use that particular locator and try to upload a file. So I'll say select file 
and I'll provide the location of the file from my desktop. And this time I'll simply say, okay, 5.png. All right, so let me now save and see the execution. Okay, so you'll see one file got uploaded. Okay, and then in the second one, which was with this locator, there is an error. Okay, so you'll see it has thrown out error trying to retry select file for four uh, seconds because element is not visible right so this was clearly visible element but here it is not visible because uh you'll see there are multiple options and this particular element is not visible in this this particular case what you have to do is you have to simply if you scroll down you will see the problem fix as well in these logs so you'll see fix this problem or use force true okay so if we simply in these sort of scenarios wherein it element is not visible but we know that it is of input type we can force the attachment as well so we simply pass force true and that will solve the issue of attaching this particular file so here what we'll do is in the select file all right we'll simply pass the option force true okay so we'll simply say okay force true and that will force the attach attaching the file on that particular page so you'll simply save it and you'll see this time two files got attached successfully okay so anywhere if there are issues for example the attachment is not working you simply add this particular force true option to forcefully add or attach the files right using the select file so this is how easy it is to attach files in cypress now if you have to attach say multiple files all right so multiple files i'll simply say okay i want to attach multiple files so this is one file all right and i want to attach other files so simply what we have to do is in the square brackets i can attach i can provide multiple files all right location for the multiple file so this is one of the file location and i want to attach another file so i'll say first file location and then let me move this here down here then here i'll say comma separated and six dot okay so five and six both should get things i should here i copied it at a wrong location there so let me change it so this is one file in the square bracket in the array i provide another location of the other file right so five dot png and then location of another file so let me change it to six dot png all right so if these files exist two of these files should get attached so let me save it and now this time three files should get attached one from the initial command then two from the next command wherein i have provided multiple files yeah you can see that it has attached multiple files there okay so i think i had five okay two files from there okay so i think there are multiple commands all right so oh yeah so i have this file again here right so four five and then five and six from here so four files got attached right so two from these two options and then in the next one i added or attached multiple files using force true or forcefully attaching those okay so this is ba basically how easy it is to attach files in any of the web page using cypress select file command okay so that's all for this particular video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching